This is a 1994 tow light uh, high low. Uh, right now it's on the down position. We just hooked it onto the truck today so we can show it for sale. Um, I'm just going to pan around and you can see what what the features are and what works and just so there are no surprises. So there's the side. This thing tows great. Never had problems. Tires are fairly new. Just got them last July. Tread is pretty high. Tread is good. They're all the same. All the way around. The step. The lights work. Batteries are always. We got a marine battery we just bought the same time with the tires in July. Got a spare, it's never been used. Don't worry about the license plate, it's being covered for purposes. Corners are uh, need some tending to, but are fixable. Like I said, we're going to another trailer, so it'll be uh, whoever buys it, their project. Shouldn't be a big problem. Like I said, treads good on tires. Uh, some people wanting to see the underside, it's the best I can do. This is for the plug in. For your 30, uh, for the 30, wherever you take it to the campsites, we have adapters. We have a 50 adapter. Uh, you have adapters for uh, the regular 12 volt or 12 plug. We had a problem with the uh, one of the panels around this area where water. It popped out, water got in, we weren't using it for a while, so the wood kind of rotted out. I took the whole panel out, I put all new wood, so it's all new wood inside. I couldn't get it perfect, but I mean, it's functional, everything's functional. Never had any problems after that. Everything is pretty functional, I mean, it's pretty solid pretty tight been taking it out for I don't know how many trips never had a problem um, I am in the process of getting one of the propane tanks filled so one propane tank right now but it, it's for two propane tanks everything works everything just plugs in for the new propane tanks this is a manual hitch or a manual, uh, yeah, manual hitch and everything. This hitch will come. This tow package will come with it. Um, I don't have the bars on it, but we have uh, stabilizer bars that go here to here. They'll come with it. Open this up. This is where, this is where the battery's at. Lid down. This is where the battery's at. The hydraulic pump. They work great. Right now, I'll show you with the trailer going up. Right now, Let's see how fast it is. Um, everything works. Like I said, that battery's that battery's fairly new. 720 on there. Everything's pretty good shape. It's got all the safety chains I just got a new safety uh, brake brake line uh, emergency brake line so right now we're gonna go to the roof climb the bumper in the back the roof is in great shape I just bought those two uh, new vent panels they're pretty dated, pretty cracked. Uh, the back one here 
as a brand new fan also I changed the whole thing out uh, sealed it up so everything I sealed up anything any cracks or whatever um, you can do a whole new resale if you want but it's pretty solid on top so right now I'm gonna put the trailer up then I'll show you uh, basically how fast it goes up and we'll show you the inside All you do is uh, there's a switch in, in the front, so you don't have to climb all the way in there. It goes up and down, it's pretty simple. Nice and quick, hydraulic pump works great. You hear that noise? That, that means it's all the way up. So we're gonna have a little holder here. Come right in. So it's pretty dirty. Somebody wanted to see this uh, video, so we put this video. We're making this video like all of you know. I just got to work, so this is just to show you like if we actually use it. Um, here's a. We just put this extinguisher. It's brand new, nice and charged. There's the switch. The up and down you pull that cord uh, to release it and then you just push that button on the, the down and it goes down it's that simple you got vents in here for the heater the heater works great if you want that turned on later on for a video let me know um, here's a fridge got a little, got a little setup here I mean, you could decorate it any way you want. Um, everything's functional, sinks functional. The stove, oh yeah, lights all work. Like I said, I'll turn them on. I'll, LED lights, except this one. This one's a regular fluorescent. I switched all on LEDs. Here's the dinette. Turns into a bed. It's got a lot of space for beds uh, for people's sleeping room here for for a big family. Um, doesn't have a huge amount of uh, cabinets, but for the food, you got one for both sides: pantry, little pantry, food stuff. Um, here's our bunk bed. Uh, with two people, you, you know, you can bring it down if you're you got a, somebody that's got some strength. They can do it all by themselves. All the vents go up, no problem. This is the the one that I didn't change, but it worked great. It's it's in one piece. The other ones are new, like I said, new new fan. This is the bathroom. It's in the back. This one has. Uh, This one has a cabinet, so you can put some your stuff either from there. It's kind of like a closet slash storage, whatever you want to put in there. Sink. Um, we kind of decorate in here. If you want to change it, I mean that's the fun of having a trailer. You can pretty much make it any way you want. Um, this is the shower. Let me. Uh, this up there's the shower it goes up got a light in here pretty bright I put a brand new LED light in there um, you can pretty much set up the shower any way you want this one we have the shower lining all the way around it works for us um, we got the switch for uh, if you want to add a air conditioner because you have the wiring um, Actually, you have the wiring in the back that you can hook it up to an actual uh, outlet. It has an outlet just so you can plug in a air conditioner if you want to add an air conditioner in here. So, 
Right now it's making some noise because it's not stabilized. Uh, all the windows open. Um, so we got, sorry about this mess, but uh, we just used it for a trip not too long ago, two weeks ago. Um, we basically take the stuff with us. Um, this bed turns into literally like a king size bed. It's huge. Um, the seats actually slide out. Some stuff. Like I said, sorry about the, the mess, but I wasn't expecting to do this. So it literally slides out all the way to the center. The other side slides out to the center. Um, and the cushions pretty much turn into your mattress. And then you just put your comforter and your sheets and everything. And you pretty much have a king size bed there. Two sofas during the day. You got your bunk. It's probably like a full, full size mattress. Um, so you can fit like maybe two kids up there, two small kids, one big kid. Um, a little bit more cabinets in the back over there. Um, so, I mean, that's about it. Uh, so you can fit four people basically on that bed, two small kids in there, and maybe another two when this one turns into a bed also, and all the cushions turn into a bed. And uh, that's basically it. We did. We tried a little decorations here and there. Like I said, you can pretty much make it your own. And toilet works, everything works. Oh yeah. Um, I forgot to show you. We got your uh, heater. If you want to use the heater, it works great. It turns on. Uh, you don't even have to light a pilot or anything. That one turns on uh, fine. Uh, we have the sensor here. You have to buy a new one. It doesn't, I, I don't know what happened to it. It's just not working to show how much you, uh, you know, how much power you have and how much your tanks are filled. You can buy another one online if you need to. Um, you got this uh, 12 volt plug-in. So you can just put in a USB plug-in and it works all the time off your battery. If you're like boondocking, uh, you don't have power. That's your power source without um, having to be a, uh, plugged in into anywhere so that's a kind of cool feature for an older model here um let me show you a couple more things we just replaced that light too uh, this is a vent for the fridge uh, another vent when it's down sorry it's uh not all the way clean like I said I wasn't ready for this but you know uh, like I said there's your plug you can plug into the, part, uh, the camping sites or wherever they have plug-ins um, if you it's also a little storage where it has your uh, um, uh, for if you have a tire blowout or anything you got your all your the stuff that it came with your jack and everything um, comes with it it up. Here's the, the water heater. You do have to light this manually. You know, all you do is turn the, it's pretty simple. Just turn it to pilot, hold it down. Wait for the flame to start with the lighter. Light it up and then put it on on. And this sucker heats up the water really fast. So you have hot showers, hot water and the, and the lines whenever you want. And so the sewer hookups, it's all on one. So you have your right side where is the, the black, the sewer, uh, the toilet stuff. And the one on the left is just basically your gray water, your sink waters, nothing that came out of the toilet. So everything's functional. Um, everything works fine. Um, but like I said, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I can send you some pictures. Uh, but this thing is ready to go. I mean, it's 
it's uh it works great and like i said it does have the bars um stabilizer bars to hold it down but i don't have them on right now because i just wanted to put it out before it got dark but i do have them don't worry about that oh yeah and it has the i don't know if you can see it it does have the stabilizer bars so when you park it at the campground wherever they go down all the way and they stabilize the whole uh trailer so you're not shaking around and and uh trailer's not moving around while you're camping and stuff so um not these are all called these are called marker lights on the top some um i got most of them to work the one in the middle there does it the one on that left doesn't and one of that that corner doesn't either but um like i said uh if you want to fix it go ahead go on amazon buy it and i got one more feature to show you is basically the awning and you'll see it come out it's, it's uh manual but it's easy to to take out anybody can do it so we have uh it comes with this it's just a stick uh it looks like just a stick and it turns into a handle and all you do is hook it in a hole here and the awning's in great shape there's no holes in it looks like it was hardly used i mean we used it a lot of times but it's a very thick material but it stayed intact looks nice out very far so that's a lot of shade. And it doesn't just stay like you can uh, come come over here.